are back, back with another 2K19 My Career Episode Ball Station, man. Hopefully, you guys are all having a great day. Now, today is a special one because we are just a game away from kicking off the playoffs. As you guys see, the final regular season game is against the Detroit Pistons. We're going to take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. Now, look. Basically, every spot is taken for the playoffs. But when we go down to the bottom, the eighth seed, the Wizards are there, but the Pistons are outside looking in. They still have a chance. So if they beat us, they could quite possibly make it as the eighth seed. Over on the West, you got Golden State, Houston, OKC. I see the Phoenix Suns made it. Are you kidding me? Now, the only team that hasn't locked a playoff spot is the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Utah Jazz could take that eighth spot. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to keep our eye out on. Now, I'm going to go ahead for this final game. Just basically rest a lot of our key players. Like, I don't want Chris Stop to play and get hurt. I'm going to also bench Ennis Cantor. A lot of the key guys that we need in the playoffs, I'm going to go ahead and bench. So this is the starting five that I'm going with. As you guys see, Courtney Lee's not going to play. Mario Hazonia, Tim Hardaway, Chris Stop, and Ennis Cantor. Guys like that, I'm going to go ahead and rest them because I do not want to take any risk whatsoever. This game right here, to me, doesn't mean much. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Man, I'm not going to lie, the Detroit Pistons came here to play, and a guy specifically that showed up for them was Blake Griffin. I mean, check out this highlight reel. Check out Blake Griffin. It's usually me making dunks like that, but in this game right here, man, I'm not going to lie, you could tell he was hungry for his team to make it to the playoffs. Turnaround jumper by Blake is good. Right here, you guys see, he is wide open in a corner. I'm not going to lie, man. Blake Griffin's game has gotten better every single year. Like, I did not think when he first came to the NBA, his jump shot was going to be this nice. Pistons were able to win this game 91 to 73. But will that be enough for them to make it to the playoffs? As you guys see, Blake on the day in 24 minutes at 26 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. Shooting 12 for 19. Put the team on his back and was like, you know what, guys? We might have a chance at making it to the playoffs. Well, we have come to that point of the video. We're about to see the playoff tree. In three, two, one, bam! Detroit made it. The Wizards are out. They're playing against Toronto. Milwaukee's playing Indiana. We're taking on Philadelphia, Boston, Atlanta. Over on the West, you got Golden State, Minnesota, LA against San Antonio, OKC against Phoenix, and Houston against Denver. Man, so many just juicy matchups. But as you guys saw, we are taking on Philadelphia, and you guys see on the regular season, these are the stats that they had. They had guys like JJ Reddick, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, all simply killing it. And for the starting five of the playoffs, I'm going to go ahead and select Tim Hardway, J.R. Smith, Kevin Knox, and Chris Stop. Alongside me, of course. Here we go. We are starting the first round of the NBA playoffs against Philadelphia. Here tonight, to the first class of organization and to an all-star group of teammates, you are the NBA most valuable player. Congratulations. It's hard to imagine now I'm standing here holding this MVP trophy. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that I was playing in China with no idea what the future held for me in professional basketball. So I guess you could say that things worked out. But this award certainly doesn't belong to just me. We battled this entire season as a team. I know I speak for this entire team when I say that we wouldn't be where we are tonight without each and every one of you. Man, what better way to kick off the playoffs than me winning the MVP? And of course, having a home field advantage against a team like the 76ers is super duper important. Here we go. It's that time. Let's go. We win the tip off. And honestly, guys, I don't know how I feel about the starting five. So if you have any suggestions for your boy, 
be sure to comment below. I know I've said this before, but honestly, like, for the next game, I'm going to see, like, what suggestions you guys give me, and I might roll with it. Because, honestly, I don't know what I was thinking here with this lineup, but it might work. Now, in this video, I only have one of the playoff games. But you guys know my usual format is to have the entire series in one episode. So that will be happening on the next episode. But I just wanted to ask for your input. Like, is that what you guys want to see? Like, the entire series in one video. Because that's originally what I do. And that's what I was going to do for the next episode. But, of course, I want to hear what you think as well. Another trifecta. Yo, we need as much of those as we can today. Check out this play we're running. Check out this play we're running. Beautiful alley you pass, and it's automatic whenever it is headed my way. I give it to Knox. Oh, they fell asleep on defense. Wide open. A 12 point first quarter. What a playoff debut for your boy. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. season we have had i mean you guys remember the first few games was horrendous we had no chemistry but as soon as coach gave me the nod as the starter things have turned around in new york oh check out that jumper by ben simmons he hit one earlier he doesn't hit it again looking like young kobe the score is 37 to 43 down goes DJ at halftime the score was 51 to 41 and something that we have to keep an eye out on is Joel Embiid now he only has four points four rebounds one assist those are numbers you hardly see from him so that is something that we have to keep an eye out on Kevin Knox goes to Perzingad Perzingad to JR let's go big time three to make it a seven point game. Here comes JJ Reddick, give me that boy. What are you doing? I see person God. Now look, moments later, with about three minutes remaining, coach put me on the bench. As you guys see, we have a nine point lead, but when I sub back into the game, things were tied up. And I'm just like, oh Lord, this is bringing back bad memories. Sarich in the corner. Dude, we had like the lead the entire game. But of course, when I sit down, everything just goes left. But you know what? I got to bring my team back. 82 to 83. I got my grand badge as well. So hopefully that's going to help us out. But that was just some poor defense on my end. As Covington was just wide open. But it's all good. That dunk is going to tie things up again. And with one minute remaining... What team is going to come out here with the win? Will it be us? It's a three-point game now. And by the way, man, can that camera stop going to the fans? I hate when it cuts away every single time you make a play. Like, stop doing that. Embiid. Oh, man, something's going on with him today. Luckily, Simmons bailed him out. And I don't even think he's hurt, but for some reason, I don't know. He's just not playing like himself. After that Simmons miss, I'm kind of going to hold the ball here. Let's call for an ISO. Set me a screen. I'm attacking. I'm attacking. Dude, they have to put someone else on me. TJ's not getting it done. 20 seconds left. Philly down by three. The biggest possession of the day. Man, and your boy falls asleep. Let's forget about that one. I really did fall asleep on that play. I don't know why TJ was left wide open. But look, we're in a fouling situation now. Philly with no timeouts left. Down by one. And I missed the first free throw. Man, come on, bro. I can't be doing that. Let's at least make the second one. Perfect release. There we go. Woo! You know how bad that would have been? 
But as I said, Philly has no timeouts remaining. A three could win it. But they go to the paint to Embiid. Embiid gets blocked. Porzingis gets another block too. What a possession for the Porzinga. Did you just see that? Back to back blocks to secure this game for us as we were able to win 97 to 95. Man, that just got me so hyped, bro. That got me so hyped. What a performance by Kristaps. 23 points, 8 rebounds, 4 blocks, and 2 of them came in the final possession. As you guys do see, I was playing on Hall of Fame difficulty because people still ask. People are like, is Anto playing on rookies? Is Anto playing on pro? Bro, I'm putting it on Hall of Fame difficulty. I wouldn't lie to you guys. But here is the updated playoff tree. We still got a long way to go. Game one is down. I hope you guys enjoyed it, Boss Nation. I just want to say, continue being amazing people. It's your ball to the boss. I am signing out.